What was your experience with coming out? How I came out was actually very unfortunate and sad because um, I happened to live with a woman celebrity and I woke up one morning and I was persecuted by society. Like I made newspaper headlines, radio headlines, TV headlines, like there was no tomorrow. I was hiding this like show. Um, yeah, but th th that's how the story came out. And now, at this point, I am hiding this. I've never had this discussion with my mother. I've never had this discussion with my grandmother. I'm still firm. I'm, I'm still very firm. I'm wearing, wearing a, a, a weave this long. I'm wearing high heels. I'm an afterline. <laughs> so this thing comes out and you know I really, really, really struggled emotionally because at this point I'm thinking it's already out there. So I was struggling with my conscience. I thought it was just betrayed your trust. You and her have an agreement that you guys whatever happened, we're not disclosing to society. Not disclosing to society. Yeah. And in trying to make herself better off than you, she outed you. Yeah. You didn't out yourself, she came out yeah. about you. Yeah. No, but me, um, I never had to come out. I've always been uh, mommy's little boy, <laughs> dad's little boy, ever since Jay, like in mom. For me, grade 10, I was 16 when I came out. It was normal for me, but for my parents, they couldn't believe this. How, how can such a beautiful lady be lesbian? Like, is that even possible? You know? So my mom disowned me, but as I'm in Minya Bihama, she realized to see she loves me and she, can, she cannot live without me. But now we are fine and I'm now. Happy, I'm happily married anyway. My coming out happened like this. <laughs> you know, I was heterosexual and then within a month, less than a month of me telling my family, the whole world knew. But I had I had to decide for myself, am I going to hide it or am I just gonna just get it out and let it be over and done with? Because either you're going to deal with gossip stories everywhere, in every paper, or someone nitpicking, someone saying, what, 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 what. And so we decided, let's get it out and let the world get over and done with it and let them deal with it. I knew that I was not going to be in a relationship with a woman and not be proud and open about it. I knew that I was not going to be able to live with myself and be in the closet. I knew that this is a conversation that I am going to want to have with my family, with my children, with my dad, ASAP. And so I pulled back for about a week after, you know, the first kiss and the dates that we were setting up and I just needed to sit with myself and know what it is that I'm doing here. And when I decided that I do not care about the world because this is my life, this is my world, I then took a decision and walked forward towards her and said to her, I am ready to engage in this. But I need to know where you are because at this stage, if we are moving forward with this, I need to speak to my dad. And then, don't worry that as in soon. I give we can next month. And as soon as possible, I need to be able to engage with my children. And she just looked at me and she said, if I could marry you tomorrow, I would. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay, for oh, sure. She said, yes. I went out, okay, sure. Went and told my father and then eventually the conversation with my children happened about two weeks later. Yeah, it was much later. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I know that a lot of people are going through struggles and maybe the fact that I come from the family that I come from and having the kind of father who is a creative and who's always embraced the 
LGBTQI community and people as a whole has made it very easy for my coming. I just feel it's important to be comfortable um, just be who you are. Yeah. Be comfortable. Just do you. Yeah. There's no need for you to come up, but for a bani, but society be educated. Yeah. In order for us not to come out. So they need to know the We don't see a straight person as a straight person. It's a human being. We see, we see two heterosexual, uh, we see heterosexual couples as normal as we believe we are. Mm -hmm. It's only the outside world that believes that we are abnormal or there's something wrong with us. Mm -hmm. So our role models are heterosexual people. You know, we look up to them, we want to have marriages like them. Because the only thing that we do differently is when we are in bed and the lights are off. But other than that, would like to believe everything that we are doing with our everyday lives is everything that heterosexual people do. Normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. We are different as human beings. Not only do we have differences in terms of our religious beliefs, we've got different, completely different personalities. And that's how I, I look at life. That if I can be a pear and she can be an apple, if everything that she does in life, she's a pear and she's an apple, where do we reach a common ground? She walks the journey with me. She goobas with me where I need to goopa. You know, when it's time for me to work, she's there with me. She will always say to me, my love, did you remember to take A, B, C, D? Like, ula, ngam. My music shows, this woman is such a big part of my team. She's the person in the back who's making it all happen that no one ever sees in the front. Um, my foundation, the Natoya Makhana Foundation, she, she is co-director on absolutely everything. But she doesn't just sit there and twiddle her fingers. She is physically involved. With, you know, when I've had a long day, the meals are cooked. When I want to put my foot up, she's there rubbing my feet. Basically, this woman is the yin to my yang. We have balance a lot of To me, first and foremost, to any relationship, any marriage, any business, anything that we are trying to build, as a man, we stand as a, no, no, we pass.